but a drum here back once again giving you guys some more Persona 5 related content on the video man it hasn't even been like a, a good 24 hours since the last video <laughs> but anyways um short introduction if you guys are new to the channel welcome to the channel Drum Talos is the name and I'm just gonna end it off at that so yeah without further ado let's just continue on with the latest news or update I guess you guys can say about Persona 5 in general so yesterday for Mitsu magazine released their latest issue and of course we were expecting Persona 5 to have its own article inside the magazine we were correct and holy hell there was actually a pretty good amount of screenshots that I really really want to talk to you guys about but screw the screenshots right now look at this beautiful piece of work man look at the protagonist's persona our scene or at a scene or whatever they're gonna call this damn thing in the game but this dude looks amazing I can't believe how badass he looks man I'm, of course I wasn't having any any doubts on how this character would look like but this thing this persona just looks so damn gnarly I love it I absolutely love it uh, I could stare at this thing all day but I don't have that much time <laughs> So moving on, the screenshot that I want to talk about, the first screenshot that I want to talk about at least, is the battle screenshot. We see our stars, I guess you could say, fighting a enemy, but of course we don't see the enemy at all. Within this screenshot, we see our protagonist attacking the living hell out of the enemy with what looks actually like Agidine, but that's yeah, that's alright, that's pretty cool. We finally we get to see his persona in action, uh, not only that. I personally get to see the primary weapon that is used for the female character. Now, when the trailer, when the gameplay trailer was first released, a friend of mine actually did his own version of the trailer analysis. I watched it and he even said that he saw the female character holding a whip as her primary weapon. I didn't see anything, so I just waited until it was confirmed, and this actually confirmed it. She, her weapon is a freaking whip. That seems cool. I, I that seems all right. I like it. Uh, the next screenshot is the is the pretty interesting one to be honest. It's just interesting to me at least. So if you guys uh haven't seen my latest Persona 5 video, which was talking about the Famitsu magazine uh, details, how uh, one of the details were explaining how the creators of Persona 5 are actually changing the automatopia. And when you summon your persona, you get like a critical hit. Like in P4 and P3, the automatopoeia, when that happens, you know how when you get a, a close up on the character's eyes, an automatopoeia pops up. And it's it's ka in English translation, if you guys want to be like that. KKA. This, what that means, usually it depicts um, a flash or just a clicking sound. Now in P5, they're changing that whole ordeal. ordeal. I can't even say things right. And it might actually have a deeper meaning than we thought. Um, the automatopoeia is changing into bushi, which means it's standing for a, a snapping sound, physically or mentally. I brought this up on the video, the, my previous video, and I is, I'm assuming that this our our main character might actually have like some kind of mental. I don't. I'm not gonna say disorder, but just a mental problem. Like a. This dude might be insane. We don't know. That would be pretty cool to see this. Our character might actually be insane. But that's what's happening. Uh, you guys might think, might still think it's not that much of a big issue. But who knows, man? Who knows? <laughs> who knows? Now, there's to be honest, there's nothing much that I really want to talk about screenshot-wise in the pages in Famitsu Magazine. But Jamatsu, the website basically translated some of the things in the magazine so I'm gonna pull it up on my phone right now uh, protagonist this is all from the Jamatsu uh, freaking <laughs> website I'll put a link in the description down below so you guys can read it for yourselves if you guys really want to protagonist tab the article kicks off with the headline steal back the future the protagonist games his persona after a certain event unfolds of course and confronts a great darkness enveloping in the city. Interesting. So, all that vigilante stuff, and it's starting to make sense now. Why? It's starting to make sense. 
we knew they were vigilantes, and we are starting to know that their actions are, I guess you could say, menacing to the public eye. But it seems that the enemy is in the city itself, so this and where everybody can apparently can't apparently see it. So this is this is getting pretty interesting so far. Uh, story protagonist is actually attending a private high school known as Shunjin Academy. A private high school, huh? Interesting. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna be. I don't know how much of a change it is from a public high school, but we'll see. We'll see. The setting, I already told you guys, is in Shibuya, somewhere located in Japan, or not Japan, in Tokyo. Uh, the atmosphere of the game will feature elements to give the feeling of the big city life, like packed train platforms full of commuters. Interesting enough, interesting, so they really, really want to make this game at least somewhat lifelike as much as possible. I like that. Uh, lessons, parentheses, and classes, student life alive and well, and calendar and weather systems return not a surprise uh the hideout judging by appearance it is likely that it's the cafe the protagonist lives in okay that's weird um it says it, uh, word by word man word by word so the on the hideout tab it says judging by appearance it is likely that it's the cafe the protagonist the protagonist lives in the cafe is where he lives i was expecting like okay so the background for the protagonist, if you guys don't know already, is that he moved to the big city and he is now living with his parents' friends that own a coffee shop. So for, in Jamatsu's freaking, I guess you could say translation, it's saying it's likely the cafe that he lives in. He's living in the cafe? Fuck that. I highly doubt that. It's just a place to work, right? Maybe. Man, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But that's where the hideout is. Lo might be actually located. Uh, so that's pretty cool. The sneak, the sneak tab right here is pretty interesting too. As in P3 and P4, battles use a symbol encounter symbol, an uh, encounter system, sorry. Uh, meaning you can see enemies on the screen and engage in battles by colliding with them. Simple as that. In P5, players can avoid enemy contact by sneaking around in order to proceed though. So, so now it is confirmed that sneaking around is a legit option. Pretty interesting, but there has to be uh, like some parts in the game where if you're about to steal something, you're gonna it's gonna force stealth in general. But that's pretty cool that you could actually sneak around enemies. But I don't, I don't think that was I don't think that's kind of necessary because in P3 and P4, all I did is catch their attention and literally run around them. <laughs> that's my way of sneaking around back in those games, at least. Uh, the all-out attack, the gang-up footage in the trailer last week is confirmed to be their all-out attack. That's pretty cool. Mass character mass wear their mask during the dungeon crawling. Okay, and they're likely a key item story-wise during those segments. I said that I said so, blah, 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 I can't even speak. I said something similar among those lines back in my other video, so that's not a surprise. Cooperation. Uh, it's basically replacing social links involving getting closer to allies. Big whoop. I already knew that. Uh, the sound, the music, the soundtrack, Shoji Maguro's soundtrack is set to be Acid Jazz this time around. Pretty cool, I like that. And it's talking about the Persona's wings and shit. Oh, okay, so nothing, again, it's nothing too special. It's the it's some of the things I already knew about, and but some of the things I didn't know about as well is in here. But there are actually parts of this article that I did not read to you guys out loud, so if you guys would like to get, or uh, yeah, like to get more information, about the things I didn't read about because I honestly personally thought that they weren't that important. The description, the link will be in the description. So there you guys have it. And that's about it. Uh, from Mitsu Magazine gave us all the goodies uh, yesterday, I am assuming. And now it's popping all over the internet. I like it. I really do like it. Uh, and we get to see these amazing fan arts that I'm actually really liking. And, well, that's all I got to say on my part. Anyways. That's, I'm ending the video right there. If you guys enjoyed this video, why not hitting that like button? That's only if you enjoyed it, though. Uh, if you guys would like to add on some other things that I have missed out, please say so down in the comments below, because not only you're sharing that information with me, you're sharing that information with other people that are extremely curious on what's, you know, changing and all. 
So, yeah, without further ado, Drum Tillos is the name. This has been another Persona 5 related content video on the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.